Um, but it obviously doesn't look very good for him. Okay. Blake's quad is acting up again. Uh, yeah. It was, it was pretty obvious. Uh, what's, what's the deal with him right now? Doesn't look great for him either. Uh, we'll see that tomorrow. So. He just it just started getting sore. And yeah, he, uh, he uh, said he um, planted on one move. Actually, he said he felt great, and that's the one thing he, he said. Because um, I felt great out there, and he said I planted and I felt something. Um, we're not sure with Blake yet. You know, um, I think he'll get evaluated tomorrow when we get back. Uh, I would say, you know, 50-50 on the next game with him. Uh, I expect him to be back, but we don't know that yet, so I don't want to say much. Glenn, does the momentum going into game five concern you with the Blazers on a two game? Oh, we're going concern? home. All, all they've done is won two games at home, just like we won two games at home. So, um, you know, we've been in adverse situations all year uh, with guys out, uh, guys have come through, and I expect us to do that at our, our place. Doc, I know it's really soon after the game, but can you get any sense of the mood of this team? Is there any sense of, of shell shock? Or, or well, they're just, um, there's no shell shock, Scott. What it is is they love their players, their teammates. And, you know, Chris is, is taking this very hard. You know, he's, he's worked all year to get back to the playoffs um, and for this to happen to him. You know, he's a very emotional guy. And so I think our guys, you know, you know, it's it's a neat family, and you know, it's things that you don't ever see, like you guys will never see. But you know, uh, it was a nice thing in the locker room. You know, everybody, the whole team was in the in the training room, and you know, it's nice uh, in that way. But the reality is, you don't have Chris Paul. On that note, Doc, can can you? Is it possible to sum up what you lose? Oh, back here. I'm oh, sorry. What you lose with losing Chris Paul? No, I mean, I don't listen. I, I've said it all year. I don't dwell on it uh, much. My job as a coach is to figure out a way of getting us up and ready uh, for game five. So uh, you're, no, there's nobody probably in the league that's going to replace Chris Paul. So there's nobody clearly on our team that's going to do it. Uh, but as a group, um, everybody pitches in. Doc, um, before all this stuff happened, uh, the first half was kind of kind of a weird half, kind of yeah. not well played. What, what did you see in that first half? It wasn't well played. I mean, Aminu made some shots. Uh, we, you know, we weren't going to overreact to him. I actually liked where we were at uh, in the second half. You know, it was a four-point game. <clears throat> Gigi had just made a shot. It uh, looked like we were about to make a little run. And then, you know, within what it felt like, 30 seconds, both of them go out at the same time. And that, I thought that really uh, took the wind out of us a little bit. I know it may be too soon to ask you this, but if you had to guess, Jamal or Austin start game five? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Um, I think with Chris out, we may, and we may have to make a lot of changes, you know, just to create uh, more scoring. So, um, I mean, but it's, it's too early. I haven't thought much about it. You mentioned adverse situations, obviously the, the, the Blake situation for most of the season, but, but those games late, Utah, Oklahoma City, those types of ones. No, we're, we're a confident group. You know, that's the point I'm making. Like, they won two games at home. I mean, uh, you know, give them credit. I thought they played hard. They played well. I thought they killed us in the 50-50 game again. Like, to, in the first half, you know, we had so many opportunities to take the lead. We had two fast breaks where we lost, you know, got the ball, you know, and threw the ball away, and then they came down and made threes. But... Overall, um, I kind of, I, I, you know, we, we lose some key guys or maybe one for sure. Um, but this is a very resilient group, and I think we'll be that in game five.